Hello everybody, welcome back to Brickerton. I'm Ryan and um, today we're just looking at the start of the rock cutting which is new it is yet to be painted because we just need to get the sculptor mould in to the back to the back of, um, of it so down here we're going to have oh, a little kind of like ditch thing. It's gonna come down from the from the road, and yeah, it's gonna be a ditch. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Um, I've got a few spare rocks here that's left over. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. I haven't done the rocks. I'll let my dad colour them because he did make a you know a good job of them. There, so ooh, let's just come back over here and uh, so I'm going to finish filling the rest of that there. This bit here needs to stay like that so the carriage door opens. Um, although we never really open the garage door, but it needs to be just in case, you know. So we're going to go to here around there and just up to here. So I've finished filling that out with paper and I've also made, scratch built, two bridges, two sides of a bridge to go there and there. And we also need to put in some smooth road system plaster thing over the top of this. So then that's ready for a road then, hopefully. And here's the colours. For the rocks so yeah let's move over and I'll show you the um, bridges so here we have the two scratch built bridges which like I said built a scratch built um, just need weathering now and all I've used is some ratio arches when like for the windows um, I used the two big ones, which then made a nice arch there. Got them. We got them from Crew Model Railway Show, which is uh, where we're from. If you didn't know, um, and then I just used. Just move these out of the way. Two sheets. Flemish bond. No, three sheets of Flemish bond. Um, and got the the new drawers here from Hobby Zone. Got them for Christmas to organise all my stuff. So I built all them up and still put stuff on top. Yeah. So in here we got cows. Get to fill them. I might actually remove the wooden slats. Some more scratch building stuff in there, clamps, nothing, Christmas like stuff, nothing. So, yes, all going well. This one's a bit tight because I've had this one a while and it doesn't get opened a lot. So, uh, detail and items and stuff like that. But anyway, back to the bridges. All I've got to do now is paint the bridging stones, bridge stones, whatever you call it, the top bit, um, to mat, the mat humble number one, which is the mat primer, and well, that's all you need really for top, top stones like that, and hopefully they'll kind of come out like this, except for them without the walls, because it's just in like the rock. So uh, that's um, hopefully what it's going to turn out to be like, but they don't look too bad. So we have um, put the smooth plaster, what's it called, road smooth bit plaster for the road from 
the Woodland Scenics Roads Road Systems thing, I think. Uh, range. And we've got a little friend here. Oh, he's got, how's he going? He's a little quick one, he is. He won't be for much longer if we should cover him in sculpt mold. So, that brings us to, we're ready to put the sculptor mold on, which, which is good. <coughs> we'll get that on, get the bridge in place, then my dad can paint the rocks and do his ballasting. Hopefully. So I'll see you after I put the sculptor mold on. So, there is the sculptor molding done. And the bridge is... We're in. I know that one doesn't stick out much, but it can do. It can go wherever. I just went e equal to them. That doesn't really matter either if it goes one's there and one's there, like, but <coughs> it's in. Um, just needs dassing up to it now, and but. Yeah, that'll be another day when, when everything's set. Sculpt moulds in. Looking fairly smooth some in some places. Um, we'll probably just run a bit of das over the rough bits. Um, and then I left this bit because of the garage door, as you know. So, my dad reckons I'll probably cut it out a bit and put a bit of a quarry at the start of the quarry in there and I've left this bit for now because obviously the ditch is going in so that'll be we'll get that done well, whenever we get it done but uh, other than that the scene is pretty much complete sorry not the scene the groundwork like the uh, sculpt moulding and stuff's pretty much done so that's any video on groundwork you're gonna get. So it's all done, ready for a lick of paint. Everything's ready for a lick of paint here now. So bridges are already painted and weathered. So scratch built by me. And that's also another bridge which has been scratch built by me. Just have a little look around the layout whilst we're on video. So we've got we'll see the canal seen here and this is the 90% uh, complete farm as well just got a bit more to do with that and then my next project is to complete the grass all along there and uh, hopefully we'll have that done very soon and then obviously we can put some fields in and put some animals in the fields, start it, grass it, make it look like, you know, blender in, put some different shades in and stuff. And yeah, we've got a lot more to do. So uh, that means it's the end of the video and there should be another one soon. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.